Hey everybody, welcome back to Yogi Hello Farm and this is Lisa and I'm not on the farm at the moment and I'm gonna explain why in just a minute. So I'm actually in Rapid City right now and wanted to give you an update on our blueberry. If you've been following along, we did a video on our 2023 gardening season has begun. And in that video, I shared that we bought two blueberry, two raspberry bushes, and we bought them about a couple months ago. And we've done that before and you buy them in their dormant and they stay dormant usually until it's time to plant. Well, the blueberries had buds on them. So we pinched them off like everybody suggested. And also the problem is, is we're gonna be really cold. We're zone 4B, we're over 5,000 feet elevation and we're gonna be cold till June. So I can't put them outside all the time because even covering them up, they are going to freeze to death. Plan was to then put them in containers. We have control over the soil to make sure they get an acidic soil. Um, and so I have two large containers to put them in. They were the ones I used to put loofah in last year. And so we have emptied out the pots and we were going to build like a little, um, not a cart, but like a dolly with like casters on them just to go cheap. Well, the casters they had at the hardware store locally were like this big. That's not gonna go over my threshold to my door and it's just gonna cause a headache because what's gonna happen is I gotta move these things in and out every day, uh, weather permitting. I came to Harbor Freight and bought a garden cart to put them on. And the good news about it is when I'm done moving the blueberries around and I know where they're gonna go in the containers and I can just use that cart, in case I hurt myself again, <laughs> that cart will have a lot of uses on the farm. So at this point it just, made sense to buy the cart. So we did. Uh, it's just a flat steel cart and I'll show you that in a minute. Um, so again, I just wanna thank everybody and I may not mention everybody's name, so don't get mad, but everybody who gave great advice. Daz at My Aussie Garden and Kitchen, Anita at Flower Folk Farm, uh, Annette at the Cow Emporium, and she totally gets it because she's in a colder zone than we are. And you guys gave great information, so thanks for all the help because let's get these blueberries in containers. All right, we got the cart together. Now we'll take care of the blueberries. Ignore the crazy hair I have going on in this video. <laughs> um, the cart got put together and that was great. So then we go to plant the bushes. Now, mistake number one is I realized that I called them raspberries and blueberries in the last video that we did on gardening. That's not what they are. But then it gets even further complicated. Oh. So let me tell you what we actually have this time and I'll show you. We bought two blueberries. So you can see that I'm not crazy. One is Blueberry Misty, one is Blueberry Legacy. Two blueberries. So the plants that were in this container were supposed to be two blueberries. Well, the two in here were the ones that came out of dormancy, but the problem is, is they're not both blueberries. Somebody must have switched it in the store because they're open. And when I opened it up, we had a blueberry and a raspberry. So we have a blueberry and a raspberry that came out of dormancy. In this box, I bought, I forgot it was a blackberry ebony king and a raspberry purple jewel. We have a blackberry ebony king and a raspberry purple jewel. So I think we actually have two jewels for raspberry, one blackberry, and one blueberry. So just wanted to set the record straight. It's been one of those days. So is this a big deal? No. Is it at the end of the world? No. Welcome to my world. Um, the issue was I did all this research on container planting for blueberries and obviously got all my information from my friends, as I was talking about earlier, and you guys, and... I had acidic soil for blueberries. 
So this is what we did for the blueberries. We did one part of each of organic compost, sphagnum peat moss, and pine bark mulch that is not treated. It's all natural. So that's what we did for the blueberries. We mixed it up in a wheelbarrow. I just didn't get footage of it because it's been one of those days. Um, but you know how to mix dirt. So there you go. What I then did when we learned that we had blackberries and raspberries, the blackberry I wanted to put in a pot anyway, even though it's dormant, because I want to find a good location for it. So what we have planted is three out of the four, two that came out of dormancy, one that was still dormant. But here is my solution. Because the pH is different on blueberries and raspberries and blackberries, I added more soil to the mix. So it was sort of like two parts organic compost, one part peat moss, one part of the pine bark mulch or whatever it is at this point. <laughs> so let me show you how it turned out because it's just, this video has just been crazy. Here is our solution for dealing with these with the cold nights. There's the new cart. We've got uh, trays on the bottom because obviously we soaked them really good and we've been dumping them before we bring them in the house. So right here is a blueberry. Here is the blackberry. And here is the raspberry. And what I will do is every night bring it through the door if we worry about a freeze. Um, so this will wheel in and out of the threshold and then that way we don't have to deal with all this nonsense and I won't lose the plants. I mean, they were what, eleven ninety seven plus tax for two plants. I think it turned out to be a good, uh, solution. And like I said earlier, the cart will really be helpful in the future for us. So it's not a loss. Um, and I think it was worth spending the money, quite honestly. So what we will do is then figure out where to put the last um, raspberry. But we've got some time, so I'm going to put that in cold storage for a while. But in the meanwhile, these will get some sun. And there's my bad bulldog. <laughs> All right, everybody. Well... I had big dreams for this video and this is what it turned out to be. So thanks for watching. <laughs> um, tell me what you think about what I did with the soil for the blackberries and the raspberries versus the blueberries. But I think what we're going to try is doing them in containers. Um, my only concern is in the winter uh, months, if they will freeze in the containers and that's not good, but I'll figure out a plan B at some point, or we could plant them in the fall, quite honestly. So we'll see how it goes. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day. Take care. And at least you know I keep it real.